tested it with Antutu version 5.6.2 and gave us a score of 21,178 which is impressive for a phone in this price segment. It supports 4G. It, it comes with a Snapdragon 410 chipset which is a 64-bit chipset and comes clocked at a 1.2 GHz clock speed with a quad-core CPU. It comes with Adreno 306 GPU. It comes with 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal memory which is again on the higher side when it comes to specifications in this price segment. When it comes to graphics, we tested it with Nina Mark II and using the GPU Adreno 306, it is capable of delivering 52 frames per second, which is impressive. Let me give you a quick gameplay demo to show you what it is capable of when it comes to gaming. This is the Asphalt 8 Airborne and with a 5.5 inch display which is a high definition panel. This phone looks really smart and capable at uh, playing this game. It's playing this with ease, there's not much of a trouble here. It gets 2 GB of RAM which is capable of easily handling games like this. And with a Snapdragon 1.2 GHz quad core CPU, it seems to be handling this game fairly well. So when it comes to gaming, it is playing better than our expectations for a price in this segment. This phone is uh, capable of delivering very good gaming performance especially with this beautiful display and a cool and nicely performing graphics. This phone is doing very good. Also after a few minutes of gaming, I don't uh, observe any heat on the rear of the phone. So it is handling the game very well and at the same time it is not heating while playing the games. This is all we have on this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. For more such videos and updates from Intellect Digest, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments or queries, please make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.